Hi you guys, this is another video from Andrea. I'm doing a video on my Articake Inspired Charms. And I was inspired to do these charms by Nurse Terror 04. I did buy um, Articake, Articake Charms from Michaels, but everyone knows how expensive they can be. Unless you catch them on their sales. Um, but I decided to try my hand at doing Articake Inspired Charms. I've never done charms before, so this is a different kind of crafting for me. But I am pleased with how everything turned out, and I would suggest that you try to do your own Articake Inspired Charms and save yourself some money, and also it can be your own creativity instead of someone else's. So I just wanted to share with you what I did. Here's my first charm. I want to get in a better light, sorry. Okay. And this is a piece from a necklace. I'm sorry, from a bracelet that I had. And I just put a jump ring on there and I put it on the um, Tim Holtz ornate plate with some black tool and a cameo. This is actually a earring that I had in my you know in my earring stash and they and they were just um I wasn't using them so I just decided to um use them in this I thought it would look nice as an art cake inspired charm and then I hung a bobble from there with the jump ring. And I put some bling and a flat pearl, uh, a flat back pearl on the earring. It's my first charm. My second charm, this is one of my favorites. And it just has some black tool at the top on a cameo. And I, the, the cameo had uh, a hole here at the top to put the black tool but I did have to punch a hole with my crocodile um, in the cameo so that I can put the jump ring and this is actually this um, suede piece right here is actually from a belt um, that I got at Goodwill and they the belt was um, full of these flowers so I like the flowers and I just took the belt apart and in the middle in the center here is a hexagon bolt with um, bling around this the um, around the middle of it and then a, a bling in the center here um, I got that idea from Nurse Tara 04 in her video and she shows how she did that um and created sort of like a rondelle but in a bigger version okay i also used my crop of dial to punch a hole in this flower and i use a jump ring and this um pearl was actually a part of a necklace so it already had the um the circle here and the bee caps on the top and the bottom and I just added some uh, black mesh bling around it so I really like the way that it turned out <clears throat> so this is how it looks I don't know if you can see that sorry that's better okay my next one is this one And this has some black tool at the top. Um, I did add a bling here. And then this uh, dangly piece was from a necklace. And then this um, piece right here, which is a beautiful piece, it was from a choker that um, I used to wear, but I didn't wear. I don't wear anymore. And then I just hung a jump ring with a bobble. And I do love bobbles. Okay, my next one here also has a bobble on it. But the top here is a charm 
um, a bead ending, I think. Um, no, I'm sorry, not a bead ending, uh, like a charm ending um, that I got either from Michaels or Walmart. And then I hung a jump ring on it. Uh, and then this piece right here, this gorgeous piece, was from a ring. And I took off the back of it. And I, um, sorry, I put the jump rings in the top and the bottom. Then I used another one of the flowers that I got off of the belt. And then I put flat back pearls, um, up and down and across. And then I used, uh, another bobble to hang off the bottom of it. So this is how it looks. And like I said, I really had fun doing these. Um, it was a different kind of project for me. Okay, this one is another one of my favorites. This top piece was actually from... Uh, sorry, you guys, trying to focus. Uh, this type piece was from an earring um, that I got at an um, antique um sell and then this piece is of course the Tim Holtz ornate plate with a, a flower at the top this piece is actually a clock I'm sorry a watch that um I used to wear didn't wear anymore so most of my pieces have um uh, select pieces off of jewelry items that I uh, reused off that I don't use anymore sorry and this is uh, I put some um, bling around the watch and the watch doesn't work anymore so it's not um, it wasn't a working watch so um, then I had a ribbon here with a pearl center and then a jump ring with the same, this came off of the same necklace from my other piece. And it already had the top uh, circle here for me to add the jump ring. And then the bead cap on the bottom. Sorry, the bead cap on the bottom. And this is my last piece. Um, if this was actually a... Uh, let me show you if you can't see it. This is actually a belt buckle. And I put the, this was a um, dollar store flower. And I put it on top of the belt buckle. So if I turn the belt buckle over, this is how it looks. Sorry, there's like a huge glob of glue because I was trying to attach the um, the flower, but um, no one will see that. You know, that's um, if you put it on a, a project or hang it from a project, uh, I would not show that piece, of course. But that's the belt buckle on the back. And then I used a cameo, and I used... Um, this is a charm that I hung from a jump ring. Um, it came on this particular set from Michaels. And I just used a flat back pearl uh, to put on it. And then I used another jump ring and hung an earring that I was not using um, in my jewelry stash that I have. I really thought the earring was pretty. Sorry, the light is bad. Okay. Uh, I really thought the earring was pretty. You can see the detail on that earring. But I'm really into like big earrings. So this little earring, even though it was pretty, I didn't get a chance to use it. Because, like I said, I like big earrings. Okay, I'm sorry you guys. It's not focusing the way I want it to. Okay, 
anyway, um, that's the end of my charms. Really like the way they came out. Thought they looked Art of Cake inspired. But you can let me know your opinion on um, how you viewed um, my charms. So, I really enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching. And please leave comments below. And thank you. Have a great day. Bye.